think back to 2007. The original series of Big Brother has come to an end. It's over. And so they decide to have a competition, an end of series competition, where a select couple of people can go to the Gold Coast and eat a meal at the Big Brother house at DreamWorks, sitting alongside some of the Big Brother contestants of their choice. I had never watched an episode of Big Brother in my entire life, but a friend of mine, a close friend of mine at the time, was obsessed with it, would gossip about it, chat about it, Facebook about it all the time. And when the competition was announced, they sent their entry in. And for whatever reason, they won the competition. And so they got to go to the Gold Coast and they got to invite a select group of about 10 people. And so me and my closest group of friends all were given a free holiday to the Gold Coast because one of our friends, one of our dearest and closest friends at the time, had won this competition. And so, but here's the thing. We weren't actually told what was going on. They actually said, this person actually said, we're sleeping over, we're getting up at five o'clock in the morning, and then we're heading to the airport. And that was all we were told. And so, we packed our bags, we headed, we slept over, we got up at five o'clock, we headed into the airport, and then we were given our tickets, and we flew over to the Gold Coast, and we were not told what the hell was going on. And then we were given our, we were allowed to um, have a day pass at the DreamWorks, um, what's it called, the... The, the theme park. Dream, dream World? Dream World. The Dream World theme park. And we got to go on rides and check out the stalls. And we were still not told what was going on. And it was not until 4 o'clock that the actual... that our friend actually explained what was going on. Oh, by the way, we're having dinner tonight at the Big Brother house. I sat next to... I... I attended that Big Brother dinner and I sat next to one of the contestants from that last season of Big Brother and she was the woman who was marketed as a Pauline, sympath Pauline Hansen sympathizer. And so I was sitting next to her and a couple of spots to my... that She was sitting to my direct right and a couple of spots to my direct left was Travis who actually won the final season of Big Brother. And I had never actually seen an episode of Big Brother, and I had no idea what was going on. And so it was just about a matter of me faking it, just say, oh yeah, yeah, I know what's going on. I know this is a, this is a house, and something happens in here, and there's games. Sure, 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 sure. And um, it was like maybe it, it didn't happen in 2007. Maybe it happened in 2008. But anyway, that was probably since leaving high school. That was probably the nicest thing that has ever happened to me and my close group of friends. There are more details of what exactly happened, but they can, they can, that can be for another time. But um, it's a bit strange because we had, the, we went to the Gold Coast and we had an amazing weekend. It was absolutely the most amazing thing. Lots of fun and laughter and just enjoyment, and shortly after that, we basically broke up as a friendship group because work got in the way, because personal animosities got in the way, because people moved, and so by 2000 and by late 2009, 
we had basically stopped being friends entirely and we weren't seeing each other anymore and so it's very strange it was as if our friendship had reached a zenith and then it just plummeted to nothing and I uh, still am very appreciative of my friend who uh, invited all of us to go to the Gold Coast when they won the competition even though I haven't spoken to them in 10 years.